Welcome to Policing TV. I'm again at Lincolnshire Police's headquarters with Assistant Chief Cust Constable Chris Davison. Uh, Chris, we've got a drone in the background and off it goes. Uh, we're here in a slightly blustery uh, location because we're talking about the future of Lincolnshire. Yes. Uh, about things like drones um, and uh, taking a, making a step change with the arrival now of your new, new Chief Constable. So tell us about that please. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> Lincolnshire uh, I, th I think it's generally been at uh, the forefront of some innovation in policing uh, and some of that's due to uh, the way that we're funded so we're always looking at new ways to deliver services um, but I think in the past we've tended to concentrate a little on um, the funding and if, if we're not careful that becomes um, a negative story which can undermine kind of public confidence in our ability to keep people safe which is not uh, what we want. So you've just had uh, arrived in the last three weeks a new Chief Constable, a former uh, Lincolnshire officer who then went to Derbyshire, uh, who uh, led, I believe, the East Midlands uh, SOU. You'll have to help me with the acronym there. Yep. Um, uh, and now uh, joins Lincolnshire as the new Chief, uh, potentially with a uh, revised direction of travel for the, the police here. Yeah, that's right. So uh, yeah, we're really pleased to um, welcome Mr. Gibson back to Lincolnshire. Uh, he served um, with Lincolnshire from, I think, 1998 through to becoming an Assistant Chief Constable at Derbyshire. Latterly, across uh, East Midlands Special Operations Unit is the Deputy Chief Constable there and has returned to the force um, after Mr. Howard, his predecessor, has moved on to the National Serious and Organised Crime Portfolio. So it's great to have Mr. Gibson here. Um, yeah, I think he inherits a force in a really good place. Um, thanks to Mr. Howard and team. Uh, but I know that in, in his first uh, three or four weeks, he's kind of looking, um, seeing what's uh, going on in force, getting the feel of the place again. Uh, but he's already talked uh, about a couple of things which I think are kind of interesting for the future direction of Lincolnshire. Such as what? So what, so what things has he, has he been talking about? And so really been talking about um, our proud record of innovation and how we can kind of maximize on that so i think um, generally as a force we're a relatively humble force we um, don't tend to brag about too much what we've done but actually on quiet reflection I think we've been at the forefront of innovation in, in a lot of different ways, whether that's um, the way that we outsource with a private provider or the way that we've really embraced technology such as drones uh, because of the nature of the geography and the demand for Lincolnshire. I think there's huge amounts that we can kind of capitalise on. Uh, and Mr Gibson, I think, has been right to just um, talk about the challenge faced by Lincolnshire financially, which exists but actually how we can turn that um, into a positive about the way that we look at challenges and the way we seek to overcome them in the kind of unique context of Lincolnshire. So if I were to paraphrase that, I might say, moving from Lincolnshire being the cash-strapped force to Lincolnshire being the innovative force and making use of drones uh, across the very sizable uh, ground that Lincolnshire needs to police with relatively few police officers and staff um, and into other areas of innovation as well. Absolutely right. I mean, drones is a really good example of how we've innovated and actually it's been a, a long story for Lincolnshire. It was um, actually Mr Skelly, two chief constables ago, who really kind of supercharged where we were with drones but we've kept at the forefront of developments because it really fits our kind of need and, and what the issues are in Lincolnshire. You can see that across a range of issues for us whether that's in the way that we uh, tackle um, IT and technological practices and I know again Mr Gibson's really keen on making sure that we stay at the forefront of that as far as we're able. So it's fairly early days for Paul, your chief, Paul Gibson, uh, in force. You've already got a flavour of the, the direction of travel. Anything else that you're able to say about that uh, early part of his tenure as chief constable that, that you expect to see uh, the force and the people of uh, Lincolnshire benefiting from over the coming uh, months and years. Yeah, I, I think what the force and, and the, 
more importantly the people Lincoln Chair can look forward to is the benefits of um, one of the more, the more forward thinking Chief Constables in the UK. You know, I think uh, Mr Gibson um, has already got you know, some, some really far reaching ideas that span way beyond uh, the traditional and I don't want to spoil his thunder by <laughs> revealing what they are. We'll come I, back for that in due course I hope. But I, I think they're really exciting for the people of Lincolnshire and, and for the staff here and I know uh, you know, Mr. Howard was held in you know, incredibly high regard for good reason uh, by the staff here in Lincolnshire. But I think uh, Mr. Gibson is being similarly held in high regard, and it's really early in his tenure. Uh, coming back to you in a second here, Chris, but I just want to uh, switch over here for a moment or two. If you just stay there where you are, because these two gentlemen um, kindly flying the the drone. Um, one is the chief pilot for Lincolnshire, and uh, the other is a relatively new. Uh, pilot uh, learning his trade at the moment. Gentlemen, thank you very much for doing the flying. Much appreciated. So, uh, Chris, this is the, the third of uh, the three videos that we're recording today. Um, of course, I'd love Policing TV to come back and cover more of what Lincolnshire uh, achieves over the coming months and years. But um, uh, any closing remarks from you? I, I know, for example, that we recorded something on recruitment uh, just uh, a few minutes ago. But any any sort of closing thoughts from you for your officers, for your staff, people of, of Lincolnshire, or indeed for potential recruits? Um, I, I think that anybody that's thinking about either uh, joining us in Lincolnshire or uh, currently um, works for us as Lincolnshire can really look forward to uh, some really exciting times. You know, um, I think that. Uh, if you take the latest uh, PFEW pay and morale Police scores. Federation for England and Wales. Sorry, yeah, the pay, Police Federation England and Wales pay and morale uh, survey results linked here. They're, they're really encouraging. Yeah, we have challenges like every other county, uh, but as a, a county that really welcomes difference and, and welcomes the talents everybody brings, I'm slightly biased, of course, but I think this is the greatest place to work in the UK. So, from the greatest place to work in the UK, uh, ACC Chris Davison, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.